As a Montessori parent, I've become really intentional and selective about the toys I'm bringing into our home. So in today's video, I'll be sharing how to play with babies aged 3 to 6 months to help develop fine motor skills and gross motor skills the Montessori way. Before we dive into the toys, let's define what makes a Montessori toy. Montessori toys are designed to serve a learning purpose rather than just entertainment or distraction, which is why they are not battery operated. In fact, Montessori toys are often referred to as activities, not just toys. The difference is that while a toy is something you play with, an activity is something you do. They are designed to encourage exploration and curiosity through repetition, serving as valuable learning tools that actively support their development. As your baby moves past the newborn stage, they become more aware of their surroundings and gain better control over their bodies. By the time my son reached 4 months, his focus noticeably shifted from his own hands to objects within his reach, trying to grasp them. This indicated that it was a good time for me to replace the visual mobile with a tactile mobile and introduce a selection of rattles. Now here are some activities you can do to help your baby practice grasping and work on their fine motor skills. Tactile mobiles are designed for babies to manipulate. So it essentially helps baby to work on their fine motor skills and hand and eye coordination for the first time in their life. It can be hung within their reach and can be touched, grabbed and pulled, allowing babies to actively engage with them. You can set up tactile mobiles on the play gym just like we did or on a piccolo triangle or any other sturdy surface to ensure it doesn't accidentally fall onto the baby. <laughs> Just a quick disclaimer, thanks to Love Every for providing the free play gym and the play kit for 5 to 6 month olds. Please note that not all the toys in the video were gifted by Love Every. Some of them I purchased myself, so check out the description box for links to each toy featured in the video. I attached a bell to an elastic hairband and a ribbon hung it on our play gym. Initially, Elijah's swinging arms would unintentionally bat it, creating a jingling sound. He found this auditory feedback really fun, realizing that he can quote sound and it encouraged him to repeat the motion more intentionally. With practice, Elijah became more accurate with his reach and soon he was able to grasp the bell. You can hang a ring on the tactile mobile that the baby can grasp, pull and even bring to their mouth. The elastic was really important because it stretched as Elijah pulled, making it a lot more interesting for him to interact with the mobile. If Elijah happens to let it go, it bounces right back, giving him another chance to practice. I've noticed that babies at this age spend a significant amount of time trying to grasp, shake and put things in their mouth repeatedly. This led me to realize how important it is to offer them a variety of rattles and rich sensory experiences that they need during this developmental stage. Silver rings offer a unique sound and a cold texture compared to wooden toys. Initially, I made my own set of interlocking rings using ring binders, but they turned out to be too small. If an object can fit inside a toilet paper roll, it's probably too small for your baby and could be a choking hazard. By far, this is his favorite at the moment, making it a fantastic choice for grasping activity. After seeing his obsession with the metal rings, I decided to introduce a spoon and a shaker ball, and his response was incredible. He absolutely loved it. This is just a small wooden ring with a bell. Elijah enjoys not only chewing on the wooden ring, but also shake it to make a sound. This is just another ring, but it's a rubber ring. We've added fabric that creates a crinkly noise, so Elijah can grab it, shake it, chew it, and even throw it. This cylinder bell rattle is also a classic Montessori activity for babies. It looks heavy, but it's actually quite lightweight, making it easy for Elijah to grip the wooden dowels with his fingers. It's a great way for your baby to learn about cause and effect, plus its round shape allows it to roll, making it enticing for your baby to chase. The next object I hung on our tactile mobile is an oval. While the oval may not align with the Montessori approach given its plastic composition, it provides significant developmental benefits for babies. Its lightweight, squished texture and multiple holes make it incredibly easy for babies to grasp, helping them develop their grasping, releasing and transferring skills between hands. These interlocking discs are another classic Montessori baby toy. These two discs are positioned at a 90 degree angle, making them easy for babies to hold, so it can be used as a teether to start with. 
They are intentionally designed to roll on the floor, not too fast, not too far. So when the baby begins to crawl, they serve as a stimulus for movement that the baby can chase after. It's also great for them to practice hand-to-hand -hand transfer. Alternatively, these wooden rattles and wooden eggs are also Montessori inspired toys for babies. Made with wood, these toys are safe for babies to put in their mouths, easy to grasp and perfect for babies to chase after once they start crawling. When offering toys to your baby, avoid directly placing it on their hand. Instead, place the toys within their reach, giving them the freedom to choose what they want to play with and giving them the motivation to move towards it. When your baby is actively engaging with the activity you offered, you want to step back and watch. If your baby is making an effort and struggling, observe but don't interfere. If they start to get really frustrated, we can give just enough help. This is the perfect chance to observe your baby and see which toys they naturally gravitate toward. This allows us to provide toys that support specific skills that they are working on at the time. Now, let's dive into some activities that encourage your baby's gross motor skills. One of the most well-known Montessori materials for babies is the Montessori Puzzle Bowl. This bowl has eye-catching contrasting colors and geometric patterns. At this age, you can start using it as a tactile mobile. My son loves to bat it, grab it and hold it. And when we hang the ball just above his legs, he enjoys kicking it as well. Balls of various sizes, shapes and textures make fantastic sensory activities for babies as they stimulate their curiosity and encourage active exploration. You can place two to three balls in a small basket, creating a treasure basket for them to freely explore and pick what they want to play with. Around the two month mark, you may notice your baby starting to stretch and kick their legs when they get excited. This movement helps strengthen their leg muscles, preparing for them to rolling over. To encourage this interest, I placed him on a playmat that makes crinkly noise, allowing him to kick on the floor as much as he likes. I also gave him this foot finder which makes noise when he moves his legs. By around 4 months, he had finally discovered his feet and began playing with them, finding it fun to try to pull his socks off. Placing your baby under a tactile mobile can encourage this kicking motion and stimulate your baby's physical development. Give your baby interesting things that encourage tummy time. Babies enjoy watching themselves in the mirror. Placing them next to a mirror provides the perfect opportunity for them to observe and focus on their own movement, helping in the development of their full visual body schema. This wobbler is currently Elijah's favorite toy because it moves in such an interesting way for a baby at a gentle and slow pace. When I place it just out of his reach, it's a true delight to watch him try to get it. It really encourages him to engage in more tummy time, enticing him to slither, reach and grab all the physical movements he needs for his development. His latest discovery is the skill of knocking things over while he's on his tummy. It all began with an unintentional wave of his arm to knock these cute little wooden moles and now he just loves to knock it all every time I place them in front of him. In the process, he's learning about cause and effect and I can't wait for the day when he's a bit older and starts pulling them out and putting them back into the right holes which will improve his hand and eye coordination, fine motor skills and patience and concentration. Babies at this age still love high contrast images and this is something I created for my 3 year old when she was around Elijah's age. It's a box with photos of myself and my husband. Alina had a lot of fun with this box until she was over 2 years old and now it's so lovely to see Elijah playing and having fun with this box that I made years ago. You'll notice that your baby is always observing and absorbing their surroundings. So allowing your baby to simply watch you as you do laundry, the dishes, cleaning, working out and other household tasks is great stimulation for their development. That's why I prefer to tackle most of the housework and exercise while Elijah's awake during the day. <laughs> He's so interested in watching what's happening around him, especially when we spend time outside. Watching Elijah just casually hanging around while I handle housework makes me so excited for the day we can do practical life activities together at home. Some babies will begin to show an interest in sitting up at this time and you can assist by providing initial support holding their ribcage. 
As they progress, they may gradually learn to sit by propping themselves up using toys like this placed between their legs. I'll dive more into activities for this side in the upcoming video, so stay tuned if you're interested. Otherwise, I like to do lots of exercises with him to help improve his balance, which will eventually help him strengthen the muscles needed for sitting up, crawling, and walking. So this is it. I hope you guys find this video useful and informative. If you want to learn more about doing Montessori at home, I do have a playlist called How We Montessori at Home. I'll link it down below for you to check out. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!